party, but if not properly managed, I think these are the stresses that might bring a premature end to the party. We were expecting Mtandeni Zongo from the EFF KZN branch, uh, but I'll read uh, the statement, or rather the press release, inviting media to their briefing that says that they want to pronounce on the misconduct of national leadership when they decided to form a coalition with the Democratic Alliance and other smaller parties without consultation. What, what can we read from this? Yeah, look, certainly I think one of the things that uh, we saw EFF do was to supposedly be engaging in a consultative process with these structures, but they chose to do such a consultative process with the, med uh, with the social media, specifically Twitter. Now, the difficulty is that you have no way of verifying if indeed those people that used that platform of social media were they members of the EFF in good and regular standing, and can you clearly say that this was a democratic process at work? And I doubt that any, anybody can substantiate and sustain such an argument, because certainly it is not. But also it tells us Another story that probably EFF as a party has not yet fully developed the branch system that parties such as the ANC have. So I see EFF being similar to what the Democratic Alliance is structured as, whereby that is a top-down approach instead of a bottom-up approach whereby there is consultation and uh, the members feel that they are fully engaged. So if anything, we saw that a number of pronouncements were really more of a decree passed by a emperor, if you call it that. All right, we're joined by Mtandeni Zongo from the EFF KZN. Hello, Mtandeni, and thanks so much for joining us. Just the issues here you tabled against the leadership misconduct, uh, particularly when it comes to the alliance with the Democratic uh, um, Alliance and also the deduction of levies to municipal councillors and consultation, amongst uh, others. Are, are these issues that the party would be able to deal with internally, or is this a deal breaker for you? Uh, what, the, what, what, what we are saying here, what we are saying here, we are not in denial of anything that the uh, national leaders can can table it uh, in our presence. Our, 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 our main concern and, and uh, what we need to know about, there is no minute where EFF voters were, 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 were informed about uh, voting with DA and IFP. Not even one day where we were told because voting with DA, first of all, it, it is compromising us because uh, DA doesn't say anything about the issue of the land. The issue of the land, DA doesn't talk about it. Uh, our seven cardinal pillars are non-negotiable. We are losing faith that uh, this, this, this is going to help us uh, get our land back. So we are having uh, a policy conference tomorrow in Belhaven Hall, where we'll be discussing all those things. Uh, People will be numbered there. Only fighters will go there because the fighters are not happy. All right, I'm telling Danny, without preempting what might come out of your internal lechota, um, as it were, uh, some of the allegations you've made is that there's a misconduct on the national leadership when they decided to form a coalition with the Democratic Alliance. And which part of your constitution as the EFF did the national leadership contravene? No. We don't want that uh, we will mention one person, one by one, one on one. Uh, taking resolutions without consulting fighters, it means that uh, we, are, we, are, we, we, we are voting puppies. It's not allowed to take decisions for people without informing them. All right, this, is, you... uh, 
Yeah, sorry, Mtandene. So are you not concerned about the survival of the party, uh, considering uh, that uh, it's fairly in its infancy, particularly if you want to contest the uh, national elections in 2019? What they use, what they use, because more than 300 years, we don't have the land. Voting with DA will never bring our land back. What's the use of winning elections and lose our country? All right. So we'll certainly be waiting for another press statement uh, outside your uh, conference tomorrow, or rather your meeting. But thanks indeed for joining us. We joined on the line by Mtande Nizungu. He is an EFF counsel and Guazulu Natal Sepo Khadima, a political analyst, just uh, on the split that has surfaced in the Eastern Cape and Guazulu Natal in the EFF structures.